The Robert Bosch Corporation has invented the X-Lock quick change system. It's a tool free way of changing your grinder wheels and accessories. Robert Bosch says it's faster and we have tested it and it seems to be pretty doggone fast. A matter of fact, you can even accomplish those blade and wheel changes with one hand if you needed to. But a lot of you have told us that I can change a grinder wheel with no tools myself, and I can do it just as fast as X-Lock. You also told us that you didn't want to pay a premium for X-Lock's capable grinders and wheels. And I gotta tell you, me being a small business owner, when I hear those types of complaints or gripes, I say, it's valid. In this video, we have Makita's new LXT brushless X-Lock paddle switch grinder because they were the first ones to work a deal with the Home Depot to bring X-Locks with their grinders into Home Depot stores. We also have a whole bunch of X-Locks capable accessories from Makita and Diablo. It seems like X-Lock is becoming quickly adopted and I'm here to tell you to stop wasting your money. Welcome back. My name is Vince. If this is your first time here, welcome to you especially. We have Makita's 18 volt LXT brushless four and a half inch to five inch paddle switch X-Lock angle grinder with AFT. We're gonna give you a few specifications. Here's the reality of this. We know this is a great grinder. Makita makes great tools. We have some other noteworthy examples here. The wall power detect grinder this is a great grinder as well. We have a corded DeWalt grinder in here. I gotta tell you, I've had a lot of luck with DeWalt grinders. Milwaukee Tools Fuel four and a half to five inch grinder, okay? That is also not an x lox grinder. Similar to the DeWalt here, uh, it is a very powerful grinder. Does not offer the type of technology that can save you from the old wrist breaker. We'll tell you a little bit about this. This one in this box. It has a brushless motor. There's no carbon brushes. The X-Lock quick change system allows for tool free wheel changes with simple snap on mounting and pull release lever for change out. Active feedback sensing technology turns the motor off if rotation of the wheel is suddenly forced to stop. It has an electric brake stops the grinding or cutoff wheel in two seconds or less for maximum productivity. Automatic speed change technology is just speed and torque during operation on the Makita. It has quick guard rotation, allows easy toolless adjustment for increased productivity. It also has a three-stage LED gauge, indicates a battery charge level. Pretty cool. The wheel diameter is up to five inches on the Makita. No low speeds, 8,500 RPM. Spindle type is X-Lock. Lock on, lock off style switch, yes. It is a paddle switch. Overall lengths 14 and three quarter inches. Net weights six pounds. It has a three year tool warranty. This tool's product number is XAG26Z. Included in this tool only box comes two x lox grinding wheels. Thin cutoff wheel and one grinding wheel. We have an instruction manual, very important. We have two style of guards. One for cutoff, one for grinding and polishing, whatever else you're going to be using it for. Okay, next out of the box we have side handle, pretty cool. And finally, our x lox capable grinder. Feels really nice. I'm going to throw the guard on it. You'll see we have our battery indicator light here. Easily adjustable guard. You press in this little button here, lever. Okay, and then we're able to move our guard around. Here's the revolutionary part, okay? We pull back our x lox handle here. It locks open our clamping mechanism. It literally turns installing the wheels into a single-handed process. Done. And here's the most important part. You're done with it. You're on to grinding. It's not worth it for the extra expense of x lock I can change out a blade just as easily. I don't need a wrench. That's what a lot, I don't need a wrench. What I'll do is I push down and I'll just spin 
I'll spin my handle, my, my blade. Okay, well, we're spinning that. We're spinning the blade off. Boom. We changed it down. Okay, we're going to swap it out. Then we're going to put our clamp back on. We're going to push here. Okay. I mean, I, I, you know, I guess, it, I guess that was pretty quick. I, I, you know, I won't deny it. But here's the other thing. Like you just noticed, I took off an X-Lock wheel that was on the DeWalt grinder and put on another X-Lock wheel. Even if you're getting the X-Lock's capable wheels, you can put them on an old style grinder. Here's the thing though. There's no way you're ever going to convince me that this process is somehow going to be faster. And me personally, like I would still want to put an Allen key in there and, and, and just snug that up. Let's take off this wheel, reinstall the wheel, tighten it down, see how long it takes. If you're trying this at home, re remove the battery. Take all the safety precautions, wear gloves and pavlon goggles. Your, your safety is very important and you know, you're gonna take off your battery and go, okay? Go. Done. 19.26 seconds. Now I know that you are probably much more proficient than I am. You've probably, I, you probably don't even believe that I've ever used a grinder before. You think that this is all just, you know, this isn't real and I, I've, I don't even know anything about this tool, right? So you, I know you can probably get this done much quicker than me, okay? You'll probably get it done in 10 seconds compared to my 20 seconds, and it's fair. Maybe x -Lox is for like noobs. You know what I mean? People that don't know, oh, I'm, the, I'm a manly man. I don't need wrenches and I don't need no X-Locks. I, I use my hands and, and nothing but my hands, not even my brain. I use muscle memory. I pick grinder up, I put grinder down. Go. Done. 3.89 seconds. Woo! That was expedited. That was very quick. Now, Here's the thing, some of you have had questions about the accessories. Do they have different accessories? You'll see here they have uh, flap sanding discs from Makita. We have segmented diamond wheels here. We have cups. Now here, here's, the, here's the thing though. I, I just want to be mindful of some of you that you know, would be making the transition maybe a little bit slower. All of these accessories even the Diablo segmented and continuous rim wheels and they have cut off, they have their own cutoff wheels. All of that, all of those accessories you can use with the older style standard arbors. You can, you can use them. We're going to put our wire wheel on. You'll see it snaps right on. Okay. Same thing with the cup. Pops right on. Now, all of the rest of these wheels lay flat on the arbor, okay? The problem here is, for instance, this wire cup, okay? It, it fits the arbor. You can't get your locking nut onto your arbor, okay? Because of the design. It would be specific to X-Lock grinders. You're not gonna be able to use these. But for all of the other grinding wheels, they are not specific to x locks grinders. You can use them on your older style grinders. You're going to put our masonry blade back on, masonry wheel. Boom, done. We're going to pop on our battery. We're going to turn on our grinder. You can see how quickly that brake stops the blade. But in the instance of a bind of the, of the grinder wheel, You'll see it, it's shut down. Pretty important stuff. High technology. I know some of you are watching saying, yeah, you know, like the faster blade changes, yeah, it's great and all, but you know, I don't wanna, I don't wanna waste the extra money on X-Lock, you know, over and over again and over time. And here, here's, the, here's the reality. You all have to remember that time is money. You literally saw us swap out a blade in three seconds compared to 20 seconds. And look, here's the deal. 
if you own a grinder and you don't do much grinding, okay, you're not a professional, I understand. We're not telling you to go out and buy something that you don't need, okay? We're not telling you to go out and buy something that is not gonna make you more money. We're literally speaking to the professional that uses grinders day in, day out, and is constantly switching, going through a whole bunch of grinding or cutting discs throughout the course of an hour, you know, saving 10, 15, 20 seconds at a time is going to add up to minutes, which add up to hours. And how much do you make an hour? This tool could potentially pay for itself. I don't know, in the matter of a week, maybe? I don't know, you know, with the time that you're gonna save, all right? So, it's going to make you more effective. I know the next thing you're gonna say, well, because it's X-Lock, and you're paying a premium, that negates the time saving. I'm gonna keep doing what I've been doing. And that would be fair enough if X-Lock actually costs more money. This Power Detect grinder with its standard arbor costs $199, bare tool. The Makita costs $179, bare tool, with the extra X-Lock technology built into it. Milwaukee's Fuel four and a half, five inch grinder also costs $179. So it's the same price as the Makita, but it doesn't have the technology of X-Lock built into it. Okay? Which means that this is the faster, more productive tool, in my opinion, because you're able to make your blade changes faster. Now, a lot of you are saying, well, even if the the price of the grinders are the same amount of money, or even this grinder's a little bit more money, I'm going to make it up in accessories. Well, that's not true either. If you've been on some of our tool tours through tool stores, you will know that we priced out some promotional packs of Diablo grinder and cutoff wheels. Now, here was the deal with that. This style cutoff wheel, we priced it. A single non X lock grinder disc cost $3.47 at Home Depot. It was Diablo, it was not Makita, it was a Diablo grinder wheel. So it is a high quality, abrasive style grinder wheel. And that was standard arbor, not x lox capable. Diablo has been consistently running a promotion right now. If you buy three grinder wheels, you're getting two free in promotional packs. So what we did was we took the price of that promotional pack, which was $9.97. We divided it by five, the total number of grinder wheels grinding cutoff wheels in that pack. That brought the price down for the X-Lock capable cutoff wheels to $2 a piece. So $1.47 cheaper per wheel. Now, I know what you're saying. Ah, oh, you, you bought three, you got two free. Okay, what we did was we, instead of dividing that $9.97 by five, we divided it by three. And still, dividing it by three brought the price to $3.32, which is still 15 cents per wheel cheaper than standard. So, here's the reality. Stop wasting your money. In my opinion, X-Lock's here to stay. Just like the SDS standards for rotary hammers, just like Starlock for oscillating multi-tools, even if you don't have an X-Lock grinder, it would make financial sense to buy the x Lox wheels from Diablo in those promotional packs, or maybe the promotional packs from Makita, and use them with your standard grinder. They're still less expensive. Stop wasting your money by not adopting x Lock. And if you like that, smash the like button. Also, leave it down in the comment section below. What do you think of x Lock? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you wish they would keep their hands off of your trusty grinder? Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're gonna get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet. Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. 
see you later.